Stefano and his Lancia Fulvia Sport 1.3. Um, this is a pretty unique car. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's a special 1972 uh, Zagato line, uh, originally from Italy, just imported recently. Only three owners has been sitting for 25 years in a private collection, and I'm um, the lucky owner now. That, that, that's a long time. Um, so this is a Zagato, as in you know, multi-million dollar Ferraris, Lamborghinis, you know, one-offs, Aston Martin, same place. Same place, same Zagato. You can see the Z on the line from the factory built in Milano by hand. And at that time, they were trying to really work on the weight, so it's a lighter version of the usual Lanchas. Has some aluminum panels? Some? Not, no, the, the first series was aluminum. Uh, uh, this one is all normal steel. And another uh, Lancia is considered one of the engineering sort of brilliant backgrounds. That then this engine is a little bit unique too. It is unique. It's a V4. Uh, it was. Uh, it's a second series of this engine, as far as I know, and a very nice rev when you go up to four or five thousand. Actually, sings. <laughs> And you had said this is a five-speed, which it, in that early 70s, that's pretty rare. Yeah, uh, they actually introduced a five-speed a uh, few years um, after they started to produce the car. Uh, and you can see that um, five is actually a better number than four. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, the launch Lion at that time, uh, there's a, sort of a Fulvia and these cars are related somehow? Yes, so it's the same Fulvia line. What they did, uh, so Lancia wanted to do something special with the Fulvia, so they went to Zagato, they asked for a special uh, design and they used the same chassis and the same engine, but they redesigned the whole car. And at that time, the, the redesign was so expensive that they actually <laughs> lost money on each <laughs> single car. <laughs> yeah, it happens, that, I've been there, it happens to a lot of us. And, and then uh, this was also the era in which Lancia really was uh, the leaders in rallying too, isn't that true? Yes. Uh, at that time they were actually racing with the coupe version and uh, they were doing really really well. This car raced also but the coupe was actually cheaper to buy. So they, went <laughs> they raced a lot, a lot easier to beat one of those up than beat one of these. Uh, well the car is fantastic and thank you for bringing it. Thank you very much. Right, it's a pleasure.